Yes. Hallelujah and praise the Lord. I'm glad you are here this day. And uh, I want to have a word together. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my listeners. Wherever they are listening from, Lord, I thank you for your word because it will correct us, it will rebuke us, Lord, it will encourage us, it will exhort us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I believe, amen. Thank you so much in this channel. We purposed in our heart to use the Bible uh, in the book of uh, Corinthians that says the prophecy comes to edify, to comfort, and to encourage. So if you are there and you are listening, do not tune out, just tune in. In the name of Jesus, I'm Susan Atkin, and I'm so grateful my husband is here with me, Mr. Atkin, and we are so grateful. And right now, I want to we, we look the word from the book of James. Today, as I was reading this book, it's a book that I always keeps me in line with God. When it talks about the tongue, I shake, because it says a tongue can make a fire can bring fire to an entire bush to an entire forest how are you using my your tongue praise the lord my tongue i'm using to propel the gospel of our lord jesus christ please make a comment there how you are using your tongue hallelujah praise the lord or praise the name of the lord i was uh, uh, looking at this book and there's something that came to my mind about uh, the book of uh, James chapter 4 and verses 13 the Bible says look here you who say today or tomorrow we are going to a certain town my goodness and we'll stay there a year we will do business there and make a profit how do you know what you will be like tomorrow your life is like the morning fog it's here a little while then it's gone what you ought to say if the Lord wants us to to the will we will live and do this or that otherwise you are boasting about your own pretentious plans and all such boasting is evil remember it is said to know what you ought to do and then not to do it praise the lord so i don't know how many times you have been saying tomorrow i want to go there and there and do this and this yeah tomorrow i'll be going for shopping Tomorrow I'm taking my child back to school. Tomorrow I'm going to, to get a baby. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow I'm going to be pregnant. Tomorrow I'm going to, uh, to, to get married. Praise the name of the Lord. Tomorrow I'm going to Asia. Tomorrow I'm going to America. Tomorrow I'm going uh, to do this and that. Praise the name of the Lord. But James is telling us and reminding us, anytime you are making such plan, remember to always say, let the will of God be done. Because he said, you don't know about your tomorrow. You don't know what God has store in you tomorrow. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. It might be a better day for you, God. So always when you're making a plan, please say, let your will be done, my father because i want to involve you in this don't exclude everything and include nothing hallelujah hallelujah i say again don't include everything and exclude anything I, 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 I know you are not getting me what i mean is that when you say everything and you you don't include god that is inclusion of nothing praise the lord hallelujah so and i pray for you this day that in your making and telling god what you want to do tell him father let your will be done father let your will be done do you want to go to to to, to america father let your will be done do you want to get married father let your will be done do you want to go and preach father as i 
step to that nation, let your will be done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I know there's so many things that says, uh, uh, talks about the will of God. I have some few scriptures here with me uh, in the book of uh, John chapter 10, verses 3 to 4. The gatekeeper opened the gate for him and the sheep listened to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when he has brought out of his own. He goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Praise the Lord. So, always uh, strive to do the will of the Father. Jesus said, not my will but the will of the one who sent me. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will but to do the will of who sent me and this is the will of him that sent me. This is Jesus speaking in the book of John chapter 6 verses that 8 to 40 and uh, Jesus himself was uh, asking God despite coming from the Father not my will but let your will be done my Father in heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So and uh, looking at another scripture it tells me that uh, there's a scripture here I want to look for you. The book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope. You see the will of God. The will of God he has good plan for, plans for you. So anytime he's telling you that let your will, let my will be done, he always have you in heart. Praise the Lord. So and he goes on and tell us in the book of uh, uh, Timothy again. This is good and praises God our Savior. Who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So what is that? The will of God. And also it goes to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 18. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will for you in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Goes on and saying it is God will that you should be sanctified that you should avoid sexual immorality you can imagine all these scriptures i'm reading they are all talking good will of god the book of hebrews 13 20 to 21 now may the god of peace who through the blood of eternal covenant brought back from the dead our lord jesus that great shepherd of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will and may he work in us that what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever equip you to do the will of the Father. The book of Ruth chapter 9 and verses 23. Then he said to them all, whoever want to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily for this is the will of him. Praise the Lord. So, I just wanted to remind you, the will of God has, has a good plan for you. Jeremiah is telling us, for he has a good plan for you. Plans of future and plans of hope. Praise the Lord. So, even as you pray, even as you are waiting unto the, unto the Lord, I want just to remind you that uh, it is the will of the Lord to bless you. It is the will of God for you to have a family. He created Adam and Eve. And the Bible says none of them shall lack their mate. That is a book of Isaiah. You shall not that lack that mate. It is the will of God to bless you with children. God wants to make generation. So he'll bless you with the children so that you be called a father. You be called a daddy. You be called a mommy. You be called a mom. Hallelujah. A grandma. A great grandma. Hallelujah. It is the will of God to have good job so that the kingdom of God will 
continue expounding. Praise the Lord. He knows that you need to put the food, to put the, the needs for your family on the table. So I want to tell you, it is the will of God to make you prosper. I wish above all you may prosper in good health. It is the will of God for you to live in good health. He knows all that you need to tell him, Father. I thank you because it is your will for me to live in good health. So, anything you are doing, my brother and my sister, I want just to let you know God loves you so much. And our God is good. Our God is so gracious. Our God is merciful. He is full of glory. And he's looking for you to tell him, my father, I know you love me. And I love you because you loved me even before I loved you. And I know, Lord, you want me to continue preaching this gospel. Your will be done and you're going to support the ministry. Praise the Lord. You know, the other day I was reading the book of Corinthians and I, I felt something <laughs> strike me. You know, Paul was saying, I know you have been accusing me of misusing the money. So, preachers, pastors, the accusation of mm, pa pastors asking for support did not start today. It was there even during the times of Paul. Paul was told, you are misusing the funds. And you know Paul was a tent maker. Aye. So, God bless you. We continue talking and talking. Hey, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Let, let the will of God be done in your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God could do you good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Mark Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God.